just a quick update to my video um, from a few days ago about tall, narrow privacy trees for screening. And I had mentioned in that video uh, inside the fence that I had a standing ovation service barrier that just was not doing well. And I inserted a picture of it um, just to give you guys an idea of what it's supposed to look like as opposed to what it actually looks like. And I had mentioned, or I'd put a caption in that video, that that standing ovation service berry is not going to work. It's going to take years before it actually performs the way I want it to and need it to in that area. And um, I did mention this plant that I'm showing right here as an option for tall, narrow privacy screening because I have several purple versions of Sharon and I did mention that they come in white. Well, this weekend I was able to purchase, unplanned, a white pillar rose of Sharon, and I'm going to use it to replace the standing ovation service berry, because roses of Sharon really do not have any pest problems. They do get Japanese beetles, but the Japanese beetles do not affect the rose of Sharon, like it seems to affect the standing ovation service berry. So I'm going to be planting the white pillar rose of Sharon in place of the standing ovation service berry i would say this one uh, out of the container it's a i think it's a two two gallon container maybe i'll have to verify that but i think out of the container it's probably already two yeah it's probably already two feet tall this is probably the size of the purple pillar roses of sharon that i'm showing you right now when we planted them in 2021 so in two years we probably planted those in May, May, June. So in about two and a half years, these purple pillar roses of Sharon went from two and a half feet to um, probably 10 feet. So that's how quick growing these rows of Sharon trees, shrubs are. So when I saw it this weekend at Lowe's, um, I was actually there looking for some fall annuals. And when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I just mentioned that in a video and knowing how well the purples have done, I'm going to get the white for inside the fence. Perfect. So let's take a look at the stats. So I had to come over someplace that was a little bit brighter. It was really dark over in that location. And I could barely see the plant tag. So according to the plant tag, it says it's beautify even small spaces with white pillar rows of Sharon. It naturally grows as a narrow column and is covered with white blooms in summer. A versatile and easy to grow flowering shrub. Uh, as mentioned, rows of Sharon's need full sun. There is no part sun for this plant unless you want it to take longer to grow and unless you want it to be less full. So it needs full sun. It's hardy in zones five through nine, gets 10 to 16 feet tall, two to three feet wide. I can verify that. They stay very narrow. They're heat tolerant. They bloom in summer. It says they are adaptable to most well-drained soil. They can be pruned in late winter, early spring. Medium deer resistance. Now I have never had an issue with deer eating my roses of Sharon. However, um, most of my deer pressure occurs at the top of my property but they do come through where that Rose of Sharon hedge is and they've never really picked at them so um, I don't think I've ever seen any deer damage on any of my Rose of Sharon so if that's a concern of yours I think you can be pretty re pretty sure that Rose of Sharon's, Roses of Sharon are not going to be deer damaged um, you can use them in borders you can use them as a specimen as a hedge or a screen which is obviously what I use them as. And I was right, this is a two gallon. It is a proven winner's variety. Again, I got this at Lowe's and it was $27.98. Um, I think that's probably a pretty good price. I don't remember. Let's step back here a little bit. It did have a bloom on it when I bought it. But um, again, this is a type of hibiscus, so the blooms only last a day, but it has, it does have new buds. Actually, it has a lot of new buds. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of buds in there. I don't think I'll get any flowers from it this year, but we'll see. I don't think, um, as I had started to say, I don't think the other ones that I planted were two gallons. I think they were a gallon. So this one has a head start. Although, like I said, 
those in the gallon containers were quite tall and it's only taken well I want to say last year they were already quite tall so it really only took about a year and a half for them to get tall enough to provide the privacy that I was looking for so I don't think this one's going to take too too long to get there and I'm actually really excited about it so again this is the white pillar Rose of Sharon I'm going to replace the standing ovation service berry inside my fence um, oh, I started to say, I don't think that's going to happen this year. I think this is probably just going to go maybe in a frost-free pot for the fall and winter. Because it is hardy down to zone 5 and I'm in a zone 7. It should be absolutely fine in a pot for the winter. Um, either that or it's just going to go in the ground somewhere just to get it in. Um, but I, I don't know that I want to plant it and then uproot it in the spring so we might just put it in a pot let it settle in for the winter then plant it in spring but I just wanted to share that as an update to my video from just a few days ago about privacy screening where I had mentioned the white pillar rose of Sharon so hopefully this might be another option for you guys if you want a screen and you can use the pillars but you want white